So how to calibrate iPhone HDR footage? So first we have to convert the HDR footage to SDR. The easiest way is to go to color management, go to DaVinci YRGB color managed and then press save. And now it's converted to Rec 709. But of course you need to make some exposure adjustments because as you can see some of that footage is way overexposed. But today we go with a different way. So we change it back to DaVinci YRGB. Then we go to the color tab and now we can work in a clip base but if there's only iphone footage in the timeline you can also click on the clip here and go to timeline mode and now you can convert it here but in this case we work in a clip base so first i want to make about four nodes and then i want to open up effects and choose color space transform and then we put it on the last node then we go to rec 2020 choose that as the input color space input gamma is going to be rec 2100 hlg Output is gonna be of course Rec 709 and the same for the Gamma. Now we can start naming this node CST and we're gonna call this one adjustment. For now I want to leave the two first nodes unnamed so we're gonna continue with the adjustment node. And the best way to adjust the brightness for this type of iPhone footage is to pull down in the curves but a little bit more on the upside so that we pull down the highlights a little bit more than the midtones. And now this is the brightness adjustment. Now we can copy this grid if we want to. For that we press command C and then we hold down command, press on all the clips and then we press command V and now we pasted everything that we did on the other clips. In this case I want to adjust the brightness a little bit more. So we pull it down a bit more in the adjustment node. In this case too, so we pull it down a bit more, play around with where we want to put the middle point. And I think here is pretty good. In this case, I also want to pull it down a bit more. Now I want to start color grading on this clip here. If you want to, you can work with the color warper. In this case, I would change it to 12 and then you can play around with everything here. But with iPhone footage, even though it's 10 bit footage, you should be very careful that you don't push it too far. In this case, I want to work with the hue curves. So we go to the first node and name it hue. The second one, I want to work with the curves. So we're going to call it curves. First, I want to start with the contrast curves. So we go back to the custom curves again. And now I want to make an S curve. And then I want to pull down the highlights a bit and maybe lift up the black point a bit before and after. And I think that looks pretty good. And now I go to the hue node, go to the hue curves and I make a point yellow and green. And then I want to pull it up because I want to warm it up a bit. And then I want to pull down the green, maybe move the point a bit. And I think this looks pretty good. This is before and this is after. Slight difference, but but it looks pretty cool in my opinion because the green you can see it here how the green increases and how it gets warmer down here we can also pull it a bit further if we want to push down the green a bit more and now we go to the hue versus set curves and i want to increase the saturation so this is the green saturation and i want to pull this one up too play around with it so this is what we started with and this is the final image. If you want to, we can also copy this grade. So I press Command C again and then I want to paste it with Command V. This looks pretty good on this image. Let's see if it works on this image too. So we do the same here and this needs some adjustments, I think. I want to go to the adjustment node again and pull it up a bit so it's not as dark. We can also make some curve adjustments on this clip so it's not as contrasty. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And now I also want to paste the grade on this clip. So I press Command V again and it looks pretty good in my opinion. Some things that you can also do is make a new node between the curves and the adjustment. Then we go to the primaries and I want to pull down the lift so that we increase the teal and the shadows. And I want to pull up the gamma and pull it, pull the lift a bit more down. And I think that looks pretty good in my opinion. And I will call this one primaries. Maybe we can also work with the gain a bit. You can also use a LUT if you want to. For that, I will make a new node after the color space transform. I'm gonna call this one LUT in this case. And I'm gonna use one of my LUTs. And I want to choose the film print LUT. And it looks pretty good in my opinion on this clip. But it needs some adjustments, of course. So we go to the curves and, and maybe work on the contrast because it's a bit contrasty in my opinion. And as you can see, it compresses the highlights and warms them up. But what we can also do is make a new node, 
and call this one FPE for thin print emulation. Go to the color space transform again because now we need to change the output gamma. And now we choose thin and film lock. Go to the last node and now we can choose one of the DaVinci Resolve film LUTs. So in this case I want to use the Rec. 709 Kodak 2383D60. And it's pretty contrasty so we make some adjustments of course. So I pull up the... And pull down the highlights a bit. Maybe go to the adjustment node and make some adjustments over here. So as you can see, iPhone HDR footage works pretty good for color grading because you've got way more room because of the 10 bit instead of the 8 bit. But of course, you still don't want to push it too far because it's not a Sony camera, it's an iPhone. So you want to be very careful with that. So now, if you want to learn how to get the film look and the image result, you can click on the video on the screen. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.